I don't often talk about the builders that were building the road when we first took over the farm, but these shots show what it looked like. They were using it as a road really and putting all their heavy plant on there. It was really quite a mess and really ripped up the ground. Fairly early on, one of the subcontractors uh, who got to know us a little bit used his digger and built that bund for us which has been really interesting over the years it's been a good valuable asset but you can see these early shots from the first few months of being on site that it was a bit like a moonscape there was no grass growing we'd done a lot of removing of hedges and trees and and just sort of given ourselves a blank canvas really we did have lots and lots of bonfires. These are students from Yarmouth College just gathering bracken and bits of twig and stuff. These are work parties. And then these guys are from the DWP who helped us start building our polytunnel. And as you can see there, the ground was like concrete. Um, but of course, it's not always like that. When it rains, it is just a quagmire because it's clay and you slip her about all over the place. Uh, these kids were loving it. We had a, a get-together social. They were having a great time. <laughs> the contractors were very useful, in fact. This was a large pipe used for going under the main road for building a bridge and they had some left over so we took it off them and built our bridges. So now the grass is just starting to grow, it's taken a few months and then come November we had a big bonfire for firework night. Can't do that very easily these days because of the animals and everything else. Lots and lots of clearing up Clearing up went on for years and years. Bonfires, bonfires, clearing up, cutting back brambles, clearing up. And we had a plan that we were building towards, but the excitement was in the doing, I think. And this was when we first opened. There's Luke on one of the first days that he ever came to us with our first ever raised beds. It's amazing going back over some of these old videos and seeing the people, really. And I can remember vividly a lot of these occasions. There's Simon and Matt building a raised bed and putting liner inside so they didn't just rot. That was when we first put up our second polytunnel. And this, the uh, sunflowers were doing really well. And this was the start of the herb garden. August 2016, looking beautiful these days, as you'll see at the end of this. And there's young Geoffrey going out for a walk through the veg. Well, these were good times. Thank you. <laughs> Lots of activity around the gardens, just building the raised beds, getting the soil in them, everyone encouraging everyone else. A hive of activity planting out. These beds here have, have changed over the years. And then we started to level the ground ready for our green polytunnel which was donated to us and has been used ever since for storing hay mostly. It's great to see the development and also realise just how long ago we did this. Three years ago. And there you can see the flowers growing because we'd gone from growing vegetables on this area to putting vegetables at the back and then just putting flowers. And this was when we were building a pathway down the side there. I can only imagine that this was something to do with hay, but we would have been collecting something in there. And then actually in September 2017, the Lostoft Classic Car Club had uh, some cars come up and they photographed them for their calendar that year 
very exciting to have these lovely cars all over the farm. Like I said, people, people just come back to mind. There's Mark, who tragically died a while ago, sitting with Rob. And there's Sam and Amy. Amy did a few months with us as an occupational therapist. Getting closer to home now. Putting manure on the rose bed. So this is just a few months ago. Daffodils on the bund. And things just starting to come to life as the sun was coming out. Already looking good. But as the year goes on, it just gets better and better and better. This ladder came from inside on the grain barn. And this is Steve planting it out. And you'll see now, as we go around looking at it, as it currently is this month, uh, how everything has just matured, the colours are coming out, the smells and the textures. It's an absolute delight to have this bit of greenery and colour as you come in to the farm. The roses are all starting to come out, looking absolutely splendid. The lavender is attracting so many bees. It's just great. And some of that lavender we put in with the donkeys in their yard for uh, a little bit of in encouragement for them just to, they love the smells. Um, yeah, this garden is looking absolutely splendid. The big black tub there, the big black planter, that came from the contractors as well doing the road. Uh, they left a few. They're sort of inspection pits that go down under the road and people climb down inside them. We've painted them up and used them there. That's that big raised bed that was being built by Simon and Matt. It's got a slight bow to it now, but it gives it character. Lovely colours. It's just really exciting to see the way that things have moved on. And we did have a plan, and the plans have changed and adapted. So one day, this bed was all potatoes. We still find the odd one in there. But now it's just gorgeous colours and sweet peas growing up the, the tree protector. We're soon going to have another very large raised bed down this side to finish it off. But lots of small beds, which have been there for a few years now. Planted out um, wheelbarrow. Quite a nice little thing to do. And there's that staircase that I mentioned. Hundreds of years, or at least 150 years, that was used for taking grain up into the grain store. And now it's got beautiful plants in it. This is the carnivorous garden, which Dave has put a lot of effort into. Got Venus tra fly traps in there and other carnivorous plants. You can see the sprinkler there, lots of watering going on at the moment because the, the ground is also very dry. And then this is coming over onto the patio, another planted wheelbarrow. Very dark coloured cornflowers there. It's all just looking so, so nice and wonderful. It's a great place just to sit on the patio and be surrounded by these beautiful plants and colours and smells and textures. This is the herb garden it's not just herbs anymore, but this is the one that you saw being started at the beginning of the film. And now look at it, just amazing really. Um, everything offset against everything else. Little bits of art going on there, the bird table, the hanging things. It's just really lovely. Really, really lovely. back out across the patio we've got pots all around the place actually we've got geraniums growing and I wish I knew more about plants to tell you what some of the other things are an old burko boiler there and this is out on the inner courtyard 
more plants planted around. There's an old sink that came out of one of our bathrooms, downstairs bathroom, um, just recently. More geraniums, it's just lovely. And then coming round to the front entrance, there's a planter. And we've just, I've just thrown this in. I know these aren't flowers, but they're vegetables. But look at this, this is our first harvest of garlic this year. Absolutely great. And that room smells so much, so strong of garlic as you walk in now. So this was October 2014. Five and a half years ago, barren rock, and this is what it is now. Beautiful colours, smells, perfect. perfect.